Hi guys, thank you for joining me today and welcome to my channel. Today I thought it would be fun to sit down with you and just film a video on applying mask to my face. And it's this mask right here. It's the Origins Clear Improvement Active Charcoal Mask. Now I've never tried this mask before and honestly it is a trial size so I don't have much information on it. I do believe that it is on the Ulta website for $26 for the full size product. Um, so yeah. I just thought it would be fun to kind of just uh, try it out on camera and so let's get to it. So when I apply my masks the one thing I do like to do obviously is wash your skin so you have fresh clean skin for this and then I like to um, use a brush like this um, just like a flat foundation brush um, this one is the Lixie 510 foundation brush I got this out of one of my boxy charm um, subscription boxes so yeah I like to really use these um, it keeps my fingers and my hands from getting dirty from the mask and um, it's just a lot easier to apply it so yeah let's go ahead and do so so now this it's not as dark as I was thinking it was gonna be since it's a charcoal mask so what I like to do is just put a little bit of the product on to the brush and start brushing it into my skin so we'll go ahead and get this um, layered onto the skin a nice decent layer of product and I believe this mask has to sit into your on your I'm sorry it has to sit on your skin for about 10 minutes <laughs> Okay, so now that we have the mask totally um, applied to the face, um, and as you can see the brush, that's what I used, um, we're going to let it sit in for 10 minutes, and then I will be right back with you guys to let you know my thoughts on the mask. So see you in about 10 minutes. Okay, so now it's been a little over 10 minutes. I do apologize. I got sucked into watching Frozen 2. It is so good. If you guys are Disney fans, you have to watch. It is super, super, super good. Anyway, so this is what the mask looks like. It is very, very, very dry on my skin. I can barely move my mouth. And so the next step is to rinse it off of my face or and or use a washcloth. I just like to use warm water on the washcloth and wipe it off my face. And so let's go ahead and do that. Okay, so now we got the mask all washed off of our face. Um, I do apologize that the lighting isn't very good in this area um, of where I'm filming this video at, but it um, is pretty red from wiping it off of my face, and um, it does help with the oil control. I can tell you that because my face does not feel oily at all. Um, it does feel a bit dry, so I would probably recommend applying some moisturizer after using a mask like this, or this mask in particular. Um, However, I don't really see too much of a change in my skin, um, the look of my skin. Um, I've never used this mask before, so obviously I would have to try it out more. However, if it does end up working well after a couple of uses, I would definitely um, go out and buy my own um, full size of this product. Just because I have a really hard time finding um, products, um, skincare products in um, particular, that work well with my skin. Um, it just seems like a lot of things I've tried um, cause my skin to break out. As you can see, I do have a few areas at this moment that um, are irritated and like I said, I've tried, I, I like to try new things when it comes to skincare. It's just a lot of time Times it, it causes my skin to break out or be irritated um, so yeah so we're gonna see if this mask actually helps with those areas and with those issues if you guys have any recommendations yourself on um, skincare products that work well for your skin and um, for oily skin because that's exactly what I have thanks again for joining me today and I will catch you guys in the next one bye